Hey, 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 we are live inside, of course, the place that I love, and it's a boxing gym. I'm are you ready for some football? Because they're going to be kicking around the pigskin Tuesday on the campus of Alabama A&M. Can Alabama win yet their 15th national championship this coming football season? Penn State has a real dilemma. Every player on their roster is eligible to transfer to any school in the country without any penalty. You're looking live at 11-year-old Von Ammons. He's a young man who's going to get ready for the Junior Olympics, and they got a big boxing match that's going to be happening May 12th at the Scrubs Community Center on Davis Avenue right in Huntsville, Alabama. I'm looking forward to it, and I will be there as well. I'm Roddy Duncan. We're reporting live from the place that throws the punch with bunches. We're talking about the Rocket City Gym. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Can Alabama win yet their 15th national championship this coming football season? Will the season end up like the one we just saw? The entire nation going roll, tide, roll. At least around here, that all depends on whether Bama can beat Michigan and Dallas September 1st. Nick Saban says it's going to be nice. When you become the target, um, when you're the champion and everybody wants to knock you off the top of the mountain and you have to try to be prepared for it. Hey, Tide's going to be rolling with Great 31 First News. That's because we have the Michigan game. It starts at 7 o'clock on Saturday, September 1st. Yeah, they want to sing like that where they can host up the trophy. We're excited about making room for Ronnie. If you've got that room that's dedicated and dedicated to your favorite sports team or sports theme, email me or Twitter me because you know what? I'm on Facebook too and I might put you on TV. Check out Gina Rogers' son's room. I love the pillowcases. Roll Tide and you know she was watching and you know she'll be watching Alabama, Michigan. And by the way, don't forget to Twitter me. It's Ronnie Slam at Twitter. I want to hear from you. Now it's time for a slam dunk and play of the day. Got a good one for you, Taco Bell. Let it yell. I'm talking Josh Reddick, Oakland A's climbing the fence, and he gets the catch. And man, you are it. That's our slam dunk and play of the day. We'll be right back with much more after this. Penn State has a real dilemma. Every player on their roster is eligible to transfer to any school in the country without any penalty. And according to the evidence in the Freed Report, had Joe Paterno turned in his friend and former assistant Jerry Sandusky, perhaps none of this would be happening. However, now every coach in the country can take the best talent Penn State has to offer on the football field, and that includes Nick Saban of Alabama. This is not just about football. You know, you're, you're there to get an education. When the Cleveland Browns moved up from number four to number three to secure drafting Trent Richardson back in April, you knew they had a heavy price to pay well, late Monday night, the Browns and Trent you know, agreed to a four-year, $20.5 million dollar contract no, 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 with a $13.3 million dollar signing bonus, meaning that part of the deal is guaranteed. Starts back on the field after a two-day hiatus last night. Well, guess what? Tonight they took on Pensacola, and it was the first time this year, and the Stars they did it. I'm talking Hunter Morris getting his 16th homer of the season and Chris Davis with his fifth. They beat Pensacola 6-1. to one. Now for those of you who thought Team USA basketball was a joke, then think again. Carmelo Anthony did his thing off the bench. 27 points. 23 of those points happened in the first half as Team USA beat Spain 178 Tuesday night. Now this game was a rematch of the gold medal game from 2008 and a possible preview of the next one. LeBron James had 25 points, Kevin Durant 13 to help Team USA break open their final exhibition game of the season. Two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Get your hands up all the way up. As Coach White goes through his cadence at the Rocket City Gym, there's one listener who isn't lost in the crowd. She's 10-year-old Sunshine Ammons. This young lady just became a national champion and she's only 10 years old. It was, it was all right. Just had to throw combos and turn. And she knows how to turn a few punches on the heavy bag. Oh, she might be a little girl, but her hero is Layla Ali, and she'll be the first to tell you, little girls can box too. Because girls can do anything boys can do. And this little girl has some bigger dreams that she wants to take a jab at. Um, during the sport, I want to go to the Olympics. As for the fight that got her this championship belt, her mom is so proud. Uh, it was awesome. I feel so, um, 
just feel so great inside. So, I don't know, just awesome. It's an awesome feeling. And the fight was really exciting. Um, I wish I could be just like her.